Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel and I finally have the bargain bead box here uh, we've been waiting quite a while for this one because there have been some issues bargain bead box has been amazing throughout they have kept us informed of when it's going to arrive and apologised profusely and I'm going to get straight into this box um, it's, I've been incredibly excited to come on to it. I'm, I'm not going to get straight into it, I'm going to tell you it's um, $17.95 a month, which works out to about £15 uh, English, in, uh, £15 including shipping, which is a bargain, as I always say. Um, it's been a while since I've recorded like this, I've been doing voiceovers. I'm going to get straight into this. Here we have your beads. Lapis Lazuli and Agate star in this nautical collection. Our favourite piece this month is the rhinestone encrusted working compass. In both functional and beautiful. That sounds very interesting actually. I wonder what we're going to do with that. Silver tone findings, sparkling crystals and handmade porcelain beads. I'm really liking porcelain beads at the moment. Complete the collection. We so appreciate your patience as we work through factory delays and customs snuffers to bring you your beads. We truly have the best subscribers. Thank you for being wonderful. So there we are. They're saying there as well. Obviously the delayed. Um, so yes, this is our bargain bead box. So let's crack on. And obviously on the back we have our key. And I'm going to go and sort through this and arrange it in order so we know what we're going through. I'll be right back with you. Okay then, I have everything in order, so let's jump straight into this box. Exciting times. Bag number one is a 40 piece strand of 6 by 4 millimeter crystal rondelle beads in opaque red and these are beautiful. I do love some opaque beads because I feel like some opaque, opaque beads can really set the sparkle off more than sometimes a clear bead, if you know what I mean. But I really like these. I can't wait to use these, possibly today, possibly not, we shall see. We shall see if we can make anything straight off the bat today, that's what I like to try and do, if you even remember. <laughs> It's been a while, but anyway, next is a seven and a half inch strand of six millimeter lapis lazuli round gemstone beads. I love a bit of lapis, and these will fit in. There are some nice tones in here that will fit in lovely with our nautical theme. We stick those with some red beads, perhaps. Some maybe some of the other things we've got here. We'll see. I will show you. We'll, we'll get there. But that is our lapis lazuli round gemstone beads. Next, we have a 30 piece strand of 6 millimeter English cut crystal rondel beads. Oh, no, crystal round beads. Sorry, in marine blue. If I can open them, there we go. Them out. And these are gorgeous. I really like those. I must say I haven't been a fa fan of the English cut or the rough cut, but those are gorgeous. I really like them. I wonder if we could get to use those in. Those are gorgeous. I really like those. Uh, next up is it's labelled bag twenty, but they do say here it is bag four they've run out of labels and it's a 16 inch strand of three and a half by two millimeter crystal rondelle beads in indigo and again they're the lovely north that lovely uh, I, i'd say it's like a marine blue they're beautiful they almost got a lapis look to them very fitting for our nautical theme gorgeous I love that colour it's such a deep rich colour beautiful 
Next up we have, let's get some of these bags up there. Uh, these are always handy to have. I'm not going to get them out, but I love having these, especially the ball-ended ones. I just find they're so they finish off so nicely and they're so pretty that with the ends on there rather than the flat ends. Yeah, I just I really like having some of these to hand, so I'm really happy to get those. And it is sorry, there are 24 pieces of 40 millimeter brass ball head pins. They are lead free and nickel free. On to bag number six. This is a 10 piece strand of 8mm cathedral style crystal rondelle beads in red and silver. And again, they fit in with our nautical theme beautifully. That gorgeous silver and red, that bright popping post spot reds, and that cathedral cut almost looks like hearts. It's beautiful, lovely. Pop those there. Next we have bag number seven. This is a 30 piece strand of eight by six crystal, eight by six millimeter crystal rondelle beads in jade white. And by jade white, I may think they mean that kind of opalite kind of look, but without all the rainbows that you get in opalite. But it's a very, very nice bead indeed. I would very much like to use that. It's very sparkly. It's almost like snow. You know, fresh snow sparkles. Very lovely bead. Those there. Bag number eight is three sets of 30 millimeter banded toggle clasps. Lead free, nickel free and cadmium free. So they are pewter alloy with an antique silver finish and these will be wonderfully handy because I was thinking possibly of making a bracelet oh, maybe some earrings but we will see with what we get with the rest of this but for the feature piece I'm thinking bracelet so those will be handy for that Next up is bag number nine. This is five pieces of 11 by 12 millimeter hand made, oh, handmade porcelain corrugated lemon beads. And these are really pretty. I do love some porcelain beads. I love that, you hear that jingle. I love that sound. It's just a little bit different from the glass sound. I was almost like the stone sound, perhaps because it's ceramic. But I, those are really nice colour as well. Brings me baby to a like a grey stormy sea with that one. Beautiful. I like those. And that was number nine. There's number ten. Again, I'm not going to get this out. We have had some of this in the past. It's um one metre of three millimetre steel Rolo jewellery chain. I'm not going to get it out. It is lead free and nickel free. And I love having this chain especially the rollo chain i really like it and i they couldn't have picked a more perfect chain for this actually rollo chain in my mind fits the nautical theme perfectly uh, next we have bag number 11 and this is four pieces of 23 by 19 millimeter ships helm charms and these again are the pewter alloy with an antique silver finish and look how cute they are Oh, they're really sweet. I really like those. They're double-sided, so perfect for a bracelet or something like that. Lovely. I really like those. They are, they're, they're adorable. Beautiful. And there's those. Next up, we have bag number twelve, and this is. 30 pieces of 5x4mm rope accent barrel spacer beads and I'll get a few of these out, maybe zoom in for you quickly. These are very pretty too. They are, they have that little rope detail going around the middle. I think they would look lovely with this in something. I think that's probably the point, they do tend to put these boxes together with purpose. 
but anywho, they are lovely. I like I always love spacer beads, if you know me you know this. Put those there. Next is bag number 13. This is four pieces of 34 by 27 millimeter rope accent chandelier findings. Now these are different, it's very light but very sturdy. I'm not going to bend or break that. It's very very light and sturdy. They are lead free, nickel free, cadmium free, so that pewter alloy again. Which I actually really like having because it means it does it tends to discolour a lot less and tarnish a lot less in my experience. But they're always handy to have and because they're nice and light actually they would make fantastic earrings. They're lovely and light enough for that I would say. And next is this piece right here. This is kind of bendy actually. Uh, piece number 14 is a 26 by 59 millimeter curved chandelier focal which would I, I would put on the neck I suppose which most of you probably would as well. I would perhaps attach things all along here. I might even bead embroider with this piece looking at it because this would be lovely for something similar to what we did last time but with smaller beads I really like that it really fits in with our theme again which is great, that's what we want uh, next is bag number 15 this is 7 inches of 8mm crackle agate round beads these are dyed and heated, heat treated to make the colour last longer and they are marine blue and look at those I've looked at crackle agate a couple of times now and I just I never I don't know why I just haven't bought any I just kept looking and now I have some of my own to play with I really love the veins in there and the crackles I really like I've, I'm really glad that I got some of this to play with no matter the colour, because I love having a bit of agate, stones and all of that. Nexty do, number 16, approximately 40mm lapis lazuli dyed point pendant. So, I wouldn't have said it was too dyed to be honest, but that is beautiful. I love lapis. Lapis is one of my favourites. I love the pyrite in there, all those gold flecks of pyrite lovely i would just uh, to be honest this is something that i would like look into keeping maybe put on a chain and keep for myself but maybe not maybe i'll find something else to do with it who knows i still have the other lapis hexagon pendant that we got too next we have bag number 17 20 pieces of eight millimeter per rope edged bead caps these are that pewter alloy again and these are cute I'm not quite sure what beads they're in mind to go with. They usually go with one. It looks like these lapis beads. Well, maybe not. Maybe they're a bit big as well. But either way, I love a few bead caps. They can really make an otherwise understated bracelet, necklace, anything you're using these beads for. They can really add just a little bit extra sometimes. And they are different, which is nice. I've not had anything personally quite like that before. And we also have bag number 18 and here is our real working brass compass with a rhinestone trim. There we go. That is our working compass and that is just so pretty. This definitely has to be on a bracelet doesn't it? Or maybe some sort of bag charm. I don't really want to put on a bag charm. I feel like a little compass on the wrist. Make it. I think that's what we're going to have to do for this. I don't know if we'll do that today for this one, this video. But that's definitely what I'm going to be doing. This is going to go on a bracelet for me. Oh no, we turned around. I want you to face that way. There we go. 
And last but certainly not least is 10 pieces, strand of 10 millimeter Zizzy style agate round beads, heat treated and dyed. So I've not seen these before. How unusual. I like them. They kind of got that wave effect. I'm guessing that's what the Dizzy style is. Yes, yeah, something different. I like them. They will go with our nautical theme. They'll do some, I'd make them look sort of wavy, perhaps. Look like waves in something. But that's beautiful. So now that we have opened everything and had it I'm going to sort through and see if I can make it. So I think this is what I'm going to use and I'm going to go back to the new ways I've been doing my video where I'm going to go and make it and I'll do a voiceover for this bit when I come to editing. So I'm just going to jump in and make this now. So first thing I'm going to do is make the bracelet part so I don't have to worry about that. I'm going to do this going to grab these. This is not going to be a straight out of the box because I'm going to be using these jump rings. I mean I suppose I technically could still call it a straight out of the box but I, mean, I don't know it just feels like cheating. So what I'm going to need is two of my smallest ones right there. Two larger ones. Let's see these ones. Honestly, I don't know why I bother doing my nails. There's two. And two of those. And two. Two of those. The very first thing I'm going to do is attach the smallest ones. Like this. And then attach the larger ones. So what I have here is the small jump ring and this large jump ring coming off like that. Just like that. And now I want you to grab mm, six inches two times of this. So two lots with six inches. Right, well, this is a bit embarrassing. I was going to grab six inches, but I cannot for the life of me find out what I've done with my tape measure. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to double this up. So I'm going to guess about there because I want it to double round and attach at the back. So I'm going to guess that that's going to do it. 
but I would say six inches would be perfect because then that's an inch or maybe actually five inches do five inches because that's about an inch so you don't want to um, over shoot because then it'll just fall off your wrist um, we can always attach a couple more of these chains later if it is too short or you could measure against your wrist like I just did so I would say five and a half inches would be right for this so I'm going to open this up I'm going to thread one side through and I'm going to attach the other side like this so I end up with a piece like that okay and do the same thing on the other side there we are, once you have both pieces I'm going to take the other size that I got out of these slightly larger ones I'm going to simply attach those around the here and attach at each end of a top of grasp very simple that so far and now I'm literally going to attach I'm going to make some charms I'm not going to make many I'm just going to make a few to come off either side of this little ring these rings here and I'm going to have this come off of there as well but I'm going to put this on another ring because I want this really nice and flowy so I'm going to put this on another ring then on one side Ooh. If you're going to do a wrap loop, I do prefer to do them. I find them a little bit more secure than the other loops, but you do what you like. Especially with this brass wire, the brass wire is a little bit softer. But I really like that for that reason, because I can wrap it nicely and still know it's secure. I was going to use these, but I feel like these are going to be too big, so I am going to pull out the white crystal windows instead. I'm going to grab one of those. Pop that on. I'm going to grab one of these red ones. Pop 
that one. Look, I'm only going to do a few charms. I'm really not going to do many. I don't want to kill off the bracelet with too much. Lost the pokey end. There we go. Put that away. Straighten it all out. Pop that with that one. Next, we'll have this sparkly one. I want to mix it up a bit. And so I have this sparkly one here. And then we'll put um, one of these red ones on again. What do you think? Like that. Yeah, I think that works. And then we'll do a I do need another white one, I think, at the same time. So, let's see how the white one would look. One of these big old white ones. See how that does. And I might just have them coming up another way, but we'll see. So, if we put the blue one at the bottom this time, and then this white one. And with these charms, you could actually keep going and make a little pair of matching earrings. There we go, that looks lovely. I think. What do we think? Mm. I'm going to put two on each end. So let's open it up. I can find the opening. So I'm going to put, I think, this, the smaller ones on this end. Because we have the anchor. And there we have it. That is my nautical bracelet. Let's pop it on. Perfect fit. Lovely. That's what I like to see. And that is my beautiful nautical bracelet. I really like that. I like having a compass on my wrist. I really think that's something fantastic and different 
and beautiful. So if I'm perfectly like, I don't know if we right got in the detail in this rhinestone, but on those rhinestones, that is gorgeous. I'm very pleased with the bracelet overall. And I'm very pleased with my box as usual. I really will make the most of this one. I love all the reds and blues and the whole nautical theme has just come together really nicely again. Thank you for joining me. I hope you all like and subscribe and join me for more videos in the future. Take care and take it easy. Bye now.